In a monumental decision today, the Supreme Court struck down affirmative action for college admissions. Peter Zampa brings us more on this historic case from Washington. Along ideological lines, a 6-3 to three decision from the nation's highest court guts affirmative action in college admissions in this country. The conservative-leaning court saying allowing for preferential treatment based on race is unconstitutional. Chief Justice John Roberts writing the opinion saying, quote, for too long, universities have concluded wrongly that the touchstone of an individual's identity is not challenges bested, skills built, or lessons learned, but the color of their skin. Our constitutional history does not tolerate that choice. The schools involved in this case, University of North Carolina and Harvard. While Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson recused herself from joining the dissent in the Harvard case because of a past affiliation, she wrote a separate dissent that concluded saying the opinion of the court is, quote, a tragedy for us all. Supporters of affirmative action argue the policy leveled a playing field historically tilted against them, helping to add diversity to the student body. Those in support of getting rid of affirmative action say the approach was racial discrimination, preventing a meritocracy. Now the justices still have three opinions they need to deliver before their summer break. One of those, a free speech debate coming from Colorado. The other two have to do with the White House's student loan forgiveness program. Reporting in Washington, I'm Peter Zampa. And after hearing the decision today, we reached out to Texas Tech and a spokeswoman emphasized it will have no impact here at Tech since the university does not use race as a part of its holistic review process. Love of Congressman Jody Arrington, who used to work as an administrator at the university, says the decision, though, was a long time coming. As a former vice chancellor at Texas Tech, I applaud the long overdue decision to right a wrong and to end this discriminatory practice and to make admission decisions based on qualifications, on the content of character and the quality and qualifications of that person and not the color of their skin. The only public university in Texas that considers race in its admissions policies is the University of Texas at Austin. This decision will also affect private universities, including Rice and SMU.